Welcome back, Internet. Today I am playing Expedition Antarctica. It's kind of a, a exploration type hobby game, I guess, if I had to label it. I mean, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. It's worth checking out. Um, before I jump into things, I want to do a couple shoutouts. Laughing Demon, Joe Plays Roblox, Sibelina, and Lady Imp. I'm also going to have a bunch of other, uh, uh, shout outs for some of the players, um, followers, and group members who found me in game while I was playing, so stay tuned for that. So check out this map. We're going to travel from the base camp at the bottom of the map all the way to camp one in this video. And it takes a little bit of time. I had to edit some of this down because I don't like my videos to be too long. But, you know, I don't know, if you got 20 to 25 minutes and you don't die on the way, you should make it in about that much time. But I'm going to try and edit some things out and shorten it a little bit. So, let's get on with the exploration. And, uh, just in case you don't know, please like and subscribe and share. And let's get on with the show. Okay, full disclosure here, I died probably three or four times um, figuring out this game a little bit. It's not overly difficult. Like I said, it's an obby type game. You gotta jump and do some obstacle things like that. But, you're kind of figuring out, you know, the ice a little bit, where you can jump and certain things. And I died a few times. So this is like my third or fourth attempt at trying to get to that first camp. And I think I did a pretty good job. I think I did a really good job because I got all the way through. Well, you have to get all the way through without dying. Um, to get to that checkpoint. The first checkpoint is at that camp. And if you don't get there, you keep going back to the beginning and have to start all over again. And let me tell you, that is kind of a pain in the ass. It's not fun. Well, it's fun, but it just, you know, if you keep dying, it kind of gets old pretty quick. But, and I do mean but, it doesn't get as old as Tower of Hell old because when you don't get anywhere i played tower to hell, hell a few times and i just man i barely get to the second stage and it's just it's just a nightmare but this is nothing like that i think a lot of people have fun just got to get some equipment you don't have to really buy anything either I mean, there's a lot of extra stuff for sale but you don't have to buy it all everything you get you know right there at the camp the backpack and the food and the water and stuff like that you know no big deal it's all you need to get to that camp that first checkpoint now, what I want to know is who is the shoddy craftsman, the engineer who put these broken bridges up and just left them? I'm surprised no one's been out to fix them. Come on, people of Antarctica. Get your crap together. Let's fix these bridges. No more jumping. It's dangerous here. That ain't right. I actually had an uncle who worked in Antarctica a long time ago, 20, 25 years ago, maybe longer, maybe like 30 years ago. He worked down there at, I believe, Palmer Station and McMurdo. And I also had a cousin in real life who, 10, 15 years ago, worked down at McMurdo. Very cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Antarctica ice. <laughs> Snow. <laughs> okay, so this part coming up right here is where I kept dying. I died like two or three times here. And you gotta be a little careful. Just go slow and take your time if you get to this spot and you should be okay. But I kept dying here. Probably because I'm old and my hand-eye coordination is shot to hell. That's why I kept dying. But I, I managed to get there. And that really was the hardest part of this whole thing for me was that little spot right there. Um, you know, I guess, I don't know. It is what it is, Internet. It is what it is. Okay, I want to do some shout-outs for those followers and subscribers who actually joined me here in-game. They saw me playing on Roblox and they decided to join me. Um, there's about, uh, there's about ten of you, and I'm gonna do a few of you now, and then I'm gonna do some more later in the video. So, I'm gonna do four, um, shout-outs right now for those people, for the first four people, um, on my list. I got... Diana 1919, Gabriel, Galaxy Guy, YT, Cool Boy Alt, and Death Run Girl. Now there's more of you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a shout out again here later in the video, so just stay tuned. But thanks for joining and playing. It was a lot of fun. So I would also love to hear if anyone's ever played this game before and actually got up to the North Pole. I've never gotten to the North Pole yet. I've, this is all new to me. 
Um, so if you've gotten there, let, let me know. Do you keep playing this game? Is it fun? Does it have uh, repeat playability, so to speak? Or doesn't it? Does it not? I mean, let me know either way. I'm kind of curious. But so far, I've been having a lot of fun. And I'm going to probably make a few more videos of this game on my journey as I go all the way to the South Pole. Really? I got to walk on a tightrope to get to the other side? Oh my gosh, that's just crazy. Things they make you do in Antarctica. Am I right, internet? You guys want to know what's gross? I think I just saw some yellow snow back there. That's gross. Somebody was writing their name with their P. Must have been a guy. Okay, so uh, I get lost somehow, even though, I mean, I think the trail is relatively evident. Somehow I got turned around and I, it took me a second to get my bearings and get back on track. I think it had something to do with an advanced trail versus a regular trail and I went off course a little bit and, oh well, it happens. So I'm been trying to play and keep an eye on the uh, text and stuff that are going on during the gameplay and uh, I should do a couple more shout outs right now uh, let's do let's do a few more I got a, I got a bunch more here but let's do a couple more I got cutie I got Justin extra 45 and I got mark t009 now I got uh, three more shout outs that I I believe that I have here I hope I didn't miss any but I got three more and I'm gonna do them a little bit later in the video well, despite what my text there above my character says, I did I did make this into a video. The only problem with this game, it's a lot of fun, but you don't have a lot of interaction. If you start with the group and try to travel with people, and someone falls and dies, and they go all the way back to the beginning, and that's a bummer. So, I mean, I, I, I kind of started out playing with a few people, um, like Gabriel Galaxy Guy YT, he was there with me, but... I died, he kept going, then he died, and I had already started out again. It's kind of a bummer in that regard. It, it's almost a solo game in, it, in, in some ways, but it is what it is. It's still a lot of fun. It's worth checking out if you haven't played it yet, I think. And if you are by chance ever in a game with me and you're trying to get my attention, I do apologize because I'm trying to play. I'm trying to keep an eye on the uh, text messages and things or the messaging up on the top left. And as I'm trying to play and re do the video and get footage and stuff, sometimes it's kind of tough um, to be able to keep an eye on all of that stuff. Um, but anyway, let's do, let's do three more shout outs. I think these are the last three on my list. And so I have uh, Horror22XO, Screaming Tear, and then I have Dijal Deal, Dijal Dial 09. I hope I said those right, and I apologize again if I did not. I'm horrible at that. And I, that's all I have written down here. I try to keep track of, of who's joining me in game and keeping my eyes open. If I missed you, I apologize so much. I'm so sorry. Um, it's sometimes it's kind of hard to keep track, but uh, hopefully I can catch you on the next one. One of the really interesting aspects of this game is when bad weather moves in. I mean, you can get a total whiteout and you have no idea where you are and where you're headed, where you need to go. It's just you get all turned around. It's kind of cool. I like that. I, I really like that aspect of this game is the bad weather. Oh man, just a moment ago I could see the, the posts that guide you along the way, the markers, but now I can't see them. I can't see anything in front of me that far. <laughs> Woo! Exploration! Adventure! It's adventure, Internet. You gotta, you gotta love it. Ro Roblox style. Ah, what's that? Little monster. Oh, it's a penguin. Cool. <laughs> I'm very glad that the penguins here weren't created by the person who created this game to attack and jump for your jugular and kill ya. That would have been horrible, man. Yeah, these are just normal little penguins of Antarctica. Nice, cuddly, cute little penguins. <laughs> Alright, I'm not 100% where I'm supposed to go because I don't see the markers because of the snow and stuff, but I think I need to go to that distant uh, ridge line over there so I think I'm just gonna head that way and uh, hopefully that's the right way I'm, I'm supposed to go I'm kind of kind of lost again it's too bad I can't ask the penguins for directions but they ain't talking 
little boogers. Uh, my water is down to 38%. Better drink! I better drink. Okay, so I kept running toward that uh, ridge line over there and I came across this! A little antenna radio beacon tower thing. I guess I'm not very articulate when it comes to that kind of stuff. But yeah, look what I found. And after a little running around here, I did find some more markers, so that's cool. I know I'm on the right track, but I came across this strange, strange hole in the ice with a line going down into it. What the f heck am I supposed to do here? I think I'm supposed to jump in and follow that line, but come on, this is Antarctica. That water's cold and hypothermia will kill you deader than hell, man. Like, fast. Like, within... The like a minute or less in this kind of climate, cold water. Come on. I'm scared. Okay, screw it. Let's do it. Woohoo! Oh, it's cold. It's cold. Ah, oh, it's so cold. Hey, this is kind of cool down here, though. Look at this. Wow. Well, they did a good job. Okay, I got one question though. How come I'm listening to the wind blow while I'm underwater in an ice cave swimming? I hear wind blowing. And that's just bullcrap, man. Bullcrap. Oh well. They really did a good job on this game though. This is pretty cool. So, gotta give them kudos for all of that. Except the wind when you're underwater. Not cool. But come on, let's be honest. There's no way I could make something like this ever. So I got you got to give your props. You got to give props to these guys. Hats off. Really good job, whoever made this game. So I'm just swimming along here, and I got those little blue bubbles on my screen, and I'm presuming that's my air. Obviously, that is my air. And I'm, I've been down here a long time. I hope I don't run out of air before I get to the other side, because you know what? I would die. That's how you die, I'm pretty sure. So, follow the line, don't get lost, follow the line. Get back to the surface and breathe fresh air. Oh, thank goodness, the way out! I'm gonna live, I get to live! Ha ha ha, I get to live! And I just realized I screwed up on a name. It should be Cutie Bunch something i i didn't get the last part of your name and i apologize a shout out it was cute i said cutie earlier but it's cutie bunch something and i'm i apologize i didn't see the last part of your name after a legendary journey through blinding snow ice cold temperatures and wind and brutality of the Antarctic wastes, I make it to the first base camp and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I made it. I didn't have to buy anything extra, nothing special. I just used the free gear that was there at the base camp. Um, and here we go. So yeah, I made it to the, the, the first uh, checkpoint. That's pretty cool. It wasn't really hard. Just that one little area where I kept falling and dying there at first. But once I got past that, it wasn't so bad. So here we go! Woohoo! Alright, Internet, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm sorry it wasn't overly exciting. It was kind of slow, you know, playing mostly by myself. Uh, just chit chatting a little bit along the way with some of the followers and stuff. Um, but this is a pretty cool game. You should check it out if you haven't. And if you have checked it out, let me know what you think about it. I'd be curious to know. And uh, please like and subscribe. And also stay tuned because I recently reached over 500 subscribers. And when I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do another Robux giveaway. giveaway. And I just made a video um, yesterday, I think, that was going to have some details about that. So be sure to check that out. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And I really appreciate all the help and the support and everything that everyone's given me on this channel subscribers followers are amazing you're all amazing from all over the world and i really appreciate it thank you very much i'll catch you on the next video